Hi, I'm Tammy. And I'm Greg, and you're watching Chuck Full Quarters. Join us each week to watch us collect quarters from our laundromat. And see how much money we make. We also give tips on buying, owning, and running a laundromat. And to answer that question that everybody wants to know. Does a laundromat make money? Make sure you watch for the code word in the video and enter it into the comment section for your chance to win this coffee can full of quarters. You must be a subscriber. So hit that subscribe button, press the like button, it really helps the channel, and don't forget the notification bell so you can be notified of future videos. Let's get collecting. Okay, let's take a look where we are. Okay, this is pretty full and we'll explain why it's full. Um, and we're gonna explain why there isn't a lot of money in here either. It's actually, um, we're actually, okay, we're actually collecting on the eighth day uh, because we got back from our road trip just a little bit too late and we were a little, we were really tired. So we put it off a day. And also, it's been a terrible week. It's been a really terrible yeah. week. So, if you, there's that number, and where's last week's number? This, I don't want, and then remember, last week's number, last week's number is subtracted from, yeah. this number tells you how much we've done in the last eight days. Um, we're gonna get collecting where, cause we got lots to talk about. Yeah. Lots and lots to talk about. So, um, and we did have to do a collection prior to us leaving on our road trip, so. Yeah, it's, you're not gonna see a lot of quarters, you're not gonna, and it's a bad week. Um, so, today we found out, first, actually not first, but three. Yeah, third confirmed case. Third here. confirmed case in our, in our city. So, we have been busy talking, hold on one second, Greg, I gotta, I gotta fix this, okay. Um, talking about what it is we're gonna do, um, and we're gonna talk about uh, what it is that we're, we're gonna do, because we, we're also gonna put it out there. We have a couple of questions to see what y'all think about some stuff. So, we were going to start doing a program called, um, it was, it's going to be called Load and Go, which means that they come in, I mean, in the last video, we've pretty much told you what it was. They're going to come in, put their stuff in, go wait in their cars, and we're still going to do it, but we're going to call it uh, Load and Go, because I know we belong to a Facebook, hey, can you Hold this for a we belong to a Facebook uh, page for laundromat owners, and a lot of other people are doing this, and they're calling it Load and Go. And oh, oh well, that's nice. That was a big one. Um, one of the things that Greg and I have talked about doing is, you, you know, you know that we're not a 24-hour laundromat, and it's because of our neighborhood. Um, but we are t have t been talking about staying open t temporarily. 24 hours now and the reason being is that maybe we can spread out some of our customers a, a little bit um, you know Greg actually had kind of said that maybe us doing that would be it, I look at it as like a, it's a way we could kind of make lemons out of lemonade with this current situation yeah that's affecting everybody yeah you know? yeah being that we're in a unique position we own a business, that, thankfully, that is considered an essential for most people because they it's a cleaning business, ultimately. Yeah. You know, kind of and people, you know, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 you know, we, we're going to, hopefully the, you know, the, the governor has not uh, said anything about laundromats or anything else, and, and, you know, we're not one of those states that are, where everybody has to mandatory self-quarantine so we're, we're trying to figure out do we stay open 24 hours and here's how we would do it is our employee comes and he cleans at midnight we close at 11 but he works at the store next door so then he comes over sometime between 11 and 12 locks up and then he comes over at 12 and cleans Greg would come down at 1 o'clock and would be here all night from 1 to 6 and then the rest of the time it would be unattended. 
Um, and the reason that we, we, we feel that we would need someone to be here is, is really just security. I mean... Yeah, the neighborhood is still the neighborhood. You still have yeah. It. And it's not about them stealing stuff either. It's not about them coming yeah. in. It's, it's about our customers feeling safe here at night. Yeah, a single woman or single yeah. whoever it would look outside and be like, yeah, it's still really dark out there. They might only feel comfortable coming there in the day. Mm -hmm. There's somebody in here, hopefully they know who I am. Right. And go, okay, I don't feel Because we were going to, you know, since we we know how to make videos now, <laughs> we thought we'd take a stab at making our own commercial and putting it on, our, you know, putting it out um, yeah. out there and yeah, see what happens. Yeah. And it just that maybe, you know, because we went around to all the other laundromats in the city today and not, and this is where... This is where I, I'm kind of, um, so my philosophy on business has always been, I have, I am a firm believer on, um, if you're going to own a business, your, your one and only goal is to do it bigger, well, not, maybe not bigger, but better than everybody else. You have to be better than everybody else if you want to succeed. So I have always tried to do things. And here's some of the things I haven't even shown you. We haven't shown you over here yet. We haven't brought you over here. And this is our kids' play area. This is a huge amount of space right here that I have given up to have a place for kids. And I am the only one in the city who has a kids' play area. And I had heard there was a... Uh, one of the distributors was doing a like a little meeting thing. And other laundromat owners were there, and it got back to us that they all thought we were bonkers for doing this. I mean, it's filthy right now. I gotta, we, I have to wash down the walls. Um, but I felt, and it did, it raised our business when we first took over. After we put it in, it raised our, our it raised our, our, our numbers because people could bring their kids. They had some place to kind of play and. You know, they loved it. The mothers loved it. Yeah. So, so we were always trying to do things that other laundromats doing. So we went around today, and not one single laundromat here in our city had up any notices about going back to your car, don't linger inside, you know, please wash your... Nothing like that. Nothing. And I'm like, why aren't they? And then I got to thinking, why should I? If they're not doing it, why should I? And that's and it's not really my my quandary because I know that I should be the one that does it, you know. And it just, but you know, um, so we kind of I'd like to know what y'all think about us staying open twenty four hours, putting that into place um, to see if it helps just spread out people, you know. And we're gonna and we are taking the chairs out. We're gonna be. We're gonna leave one set of chairs, one set of chairs, because I do have people who walk to the laundromat, so they do need some place to sit. Um, and we don't know yet if we're going to. We might. When it comes to the tables, what I might do is put. Um, I think we have a roll of police tape at the house. <laughs> I don't know how it got there. Um, and, and tape off every other table so that, you know, we have tables if they want to uh, fold that, they can, um, but we're, we're going to urge. I just really don't, ha I, I, oh, here's what it is. Um, I don't know if you can see this. So my guy has been doing a really good job of washing down the carts with bleach. I don't know if we can see this. If you can kind of see the. The, res the residue from the bleach solution. So this is how I know he's doing his job. He's all the way to the top. It's on all sides, um, which is a good thing. It really is, because I had said to him, you know, uh, he, he needs to make sure he does it all, and he's doing it, which makes me feel good. That's why we really like him. He, he does a really good job for us. Um, so... We'd like to know what you think about our 24-hour idea. And um, 
those over here, 25 pounders, and these are the, some of the ones I pulled from earlier yeah. in the week, so that's why it's not full like it normally is. Still a lot of quarters, though. Um, so that's what we're, that's what we're planning. Um, and so again, I know I had said I was going to take the tables out. I think we're just going to try to mark off every other one because we had gone to our storage unit and we don't have enough room for all the tables. Um, and I really don't want to have to rent another one. I really don't. So I think we might be able to do it. We might actually have to hire somebody else. Um, and it might be coming down to where we're disinfecting um, a couple of times a day. Um, we've, we'd also thought about maybe hiring some extra people. And what we would do is us just to keep down anybody coming in, we would actually, they would come to the door, give us their clothes, their money, soap, we would load their machines, then move it into the dryers, but I didn't really like that idea. I didn't really like that we would have to hire a bunch of people just to do this. Um, So we're gonna, um, I think we're gonna speed up. You wanna maybe do, we'll do another speed up of Greg yeah. on the dryers. Yeah. So we'll let him get Three, a couple of boxes. Quarters. We actually did oh. better than I thought. That is much better than I thought. Extra day, but still, still not as, not as good, decent. but it's, it's still good. Um, I am disappointed that we did have to wait an extra day to collect, but it is what it is. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this, yeah. and then we will see you on the other side. Yeah. back after all that. Let's see. Let's see how the dryer is. Yep. They're looking good. Okay. We'll see you over at the other end. Okay. So, I don't know if you know this, but we're, gonna, we're doing something different tonight. We're using our S9, our Galaxy S9 phones to do the collection, and then we're using our camera to do to do the, the actual quarters because we get better sound off of this. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna do washers first. a laundromat owner here's another tip for you sometimes washing machines will have this housing that houses your coin drop in your coin box and there'll be this ledge and it will collect everything and anything so get yourself a cheap paintbrush and get in there and clean that out because they will notice and we do ours probably once a month we don't have to do it all the time but you know we get it get it get it, get it all out of there Sometimes having sometimes having older machines, you think, oh, I don't have, I can't be a good laundromat without the newest machines. That's not true. They have to work, and they, they have to work good. So if your older machines still work good, don't get rid of them. 
just give them a little love and they'll treat you well and they'll give back to you. Thanks. Bye. Hey, I'm glad you're still here. Code to win these quarters is coming up. Okay. Here we go. So now I need to make sure that I'm not touching. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going 34 or 8. We're going to 3408, so uh, let's take out. Sorry, just let me get it. I really shouldn't be touching these with the gloves on. Do you see eight, kind of eight, eight, nine quarters? Turn in there, let's say four. Four is eight, nine. There's a ten. Oh, there's a couple extra in there. Go ahead and hit it. Let's see what it does. Okay. One more. There we go. Pretty far away. That's what's going back in to make everything in that change machine $1,200 in quarters. Uh, do we have a bucket? No. Oh, go ahead. Get it all in there. We get 358. 1347. Nice. Mm -hmm. Even? Even. Okay. Very good. Maybe it won't be. Uh, 3956. Oh, yeah. Let's do dryers. Okay. Right? Yeah. Five sixty-one fifty. Well, that brings us to 
1900 so far. Yep. That is good. Let's let's see how they let's see how do we do. Uh, oh, decent. Well, they didn't buy one dryer sheet. Uh, I had to refill the dryer sheet, so they actually did quite uh, well on dryer sheets. Oh, okay. So, you know, it's not bad. Somebody here. Uh, so you went to the store in the store. Uh -huh. So let's see what we got going on in here. Not bad, actually. Still a little soap in there, as you can see. Which is gonna drive me nuts. Oh, Greg, that's hitting me in the head. And I got soap in there, which is, shoot. There's soap all over the bottom of that. It's wrong. Literally right underneath that top one. Nope. Okay. Yeah, there's the soap got in there. Hopefully, uh, we're getting close to me taking this apart to give it a cleaning. Uh, my sensors are dirty anyway, so, you know, knowing that I have some soap in here might be a good time to, good reason to, um, go ahead. Yeah. Now, I know we didn't show you the collection on vending today, and here's why. It's, what time is it now? Is it 4 o'clock in the morning? 4.25. It's 4.25 in the morning. We get up at 3.30 to come here, and I just wanted to get through yeah. um, this. $4 we, in paper. Because we have a lot to do today. $4. Okay. okay. So you didn't miss a whole lot of yeah, and then but this is just this is just from the soda machine because we didn't. Do you have the little box? Uh, just because vending is still out. So um, Box on. Here we go. Here we go. Ninety cents in dimes. What was it again? It was four dollars. Yeah. Nineteen dollars and quarters. Okay. Like yeah. So twenty three ninety. Oh wait a minute, nope, nope. Here's ten cents and nickels. Twenty four dollars. Yep, that's what I got. So there's our total for the week, 1955.50. And somebody suggested that I write down last week's numbers, just so you can see that, and that was 2,048.35. That was last week's total. Which, you know, we're still down, but I'm gonna tell you, um, when we checked the... Also remember, this is for eight days. This is this seven. is also eight days, not seven. So next it week... Would have, it would have been a lot less. Yeah, next week we're not planning on so, going anywhere. That's gonna yeah, look... Hold on a second. This was last year. Not pretty much off, huh? I mean, 1911, 1955. Yeah. So, those are the two. So we're gonna we'll uh, get these put back in, and we'll be back. We'll okay, hold on. Let's see it. We got uh, we gotta do the can, and we got our can back. The original. So, the original. So. Let's actually look to see last week because we couldn't tell, and I was right. It is up to that, actually it's over that first rib. So, Greg, okay, go ahead. Go. Grab 
a handful of quarters. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I really should just put this lid down. Uh, wow, it is up over the second rib. So that is getting full. So we're gonna pretty soon again. We'll be giving out our giving away our third can. So remember. If you want to win this can of quarters, you need to enter the, watch for the code word, enter it in to the comments below, and remember you have to be a subscriber to win this can of quarters. This is how, okay, this is how early it is. This, the convenience store just opened up. It's really early. I'm trying to see, okay. Because we've already pulled half the paper this week. Um, and the reason being is, and I'll let you know why we pulled half the paper, was I wanted to make sure that all of our bills were paid for this month. And we also started a little bit into next month also. With everything that's going on, um, we need to make sure that, we're, that we, we are paid because we don't know what's gonna happen, you know? So this is just a little stack, so, but um, yeah, we pulled it so that we could pay some extra bills. Um, we wanted to get them paid so that, I, I know that, that the, the, the president and also a lot of the governors are doing, um, that people can't, utilities can't um, disconnect us for like 60 or 90 days, but we still wanted to get caught up on yeah. it. Make sure that we got everything paid. So, because of the, the usual volume of our bills, we don't want to surprise in 90 days of yeah. having to come up with three or four thousand dollars for a water bill. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, you know, yeah, so that's what we're doing. I mean, it's I'll be honest with you, you know, even though we've been talking about this, about <sighs> everything that's going on, and Greg and I have been kind of talking about being prepared for this, I'll be honest with you, when we got the news that there was three cases in our city. It really kind of makes you feel like, oh, like it's, I'm really starting to feel that, oh my God, are we going to be okay? And I know we are. I absolutely know we are. This is why, and here's one of the reasons why we're going to be okay as, as laundromat owners here. We have no debt on the books. You know, we have no debt. And the laundromat is paid for. It's so. paid for. You know, all we have to do is pay our utilities and, and, and our rent. And... It, it's going to be all, all okay. I feel bad for some of the other laundromat owners that might not be able to survive this um, because they have they have debt. You know, um, you know the guy that who, who owns ninety percent of the laundromats um, here in town. He paid four million dollars for them. It also came with some car washes too. Four million dollars. Did he take a loan? Does he have investors? Was that cash. just his cash? Was that his cash? What was that? Yeah. You know, what's that going to look like? You know, Greg and I have also talked about it, and I know it sounds terrible to talk about it, but I'm going to be honest with you. We've talked about, is there going to be an opportunity after this for us to buy other laundromats? We talk about that. You know, it sounds a little morbid, like, oh, there could be possibly a recession, possibly a depression after all of this, because we don't know what's going to happen. Will there be opportunities to buy laundromats? We yeah. don't know. But, you know, I like the, the idea. I like the possibility of it. I definitely like that. I would feel bad if people had to sell their businesses because of this, because they had too much debt, you know, as to what they're bringing in. So, I'm sorry. I'm a little sluggish this morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> but, or a um, full night's sleep. Or, or <laughs> well, well, it was mostly a full night's sleep, but it was, you know, I'm just I'm a little tired this morning. So... Let's, um, let's get this locked up and we're going to answer some questions 
Um, and we're going to do some shout outs. And uh, they, were they, yeah, we're gonna that was it. Yeah. yeah. Questions, questions and shout outs. So we'll see you back in here in a minute. See you. Okay. So let's do some, uh, let's do some questions and some shout outs. So the question was, uh, Crestwood Rocks wanted to know about putting a ATM in the laundromat. Uh, yeah, it's not something we're going to do because the store next door, not during the day when people were there, but at night they've been broken into three times, three, three times, three ATM stolen. Just, yeah, they just yeah. go in and rip them right out and yeah. they run so, off with them. So imagine what they would do when we were open. They'd yeah. probably do the same thing. Yeah, um, for us not being attended, yeah. they, God knows what would happen. So, so not I don't it. think they have a problem coming to the laundromat with money and... I don't, I don't think it would make that much of a difference. I don't know if we would make any much more money on, even if we owned the ATM. It's just yeah. something that, you know, it, it, it's kind of that. It's a little bit of, it's another headache we don't want to have to, yeah. to, yeah. Get to endure, yeah. you know. So uh, Steve Taylor is asking, where do we get used equipment? And I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, say that in the last video when we were talking about it. So here's where we've bought used equipment from. We bought used equipment from eBay, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and GovDeals.com. If nobody knows about GovDeals.com, check it out. Lots of stuff that you can use in your laundromat. Um, I'll show you something. Don't need the camera. It's all right. See these chairs? GovDeals.com. And who would like to know? Now they're all faded because they're sitting in my window. Hold on a second, let me get this back into the... So all of our chairs are faded because... Oh, I don't know if that's gonna get me. Hold on. It's a little better. Yeah. So all of the chairs are faded because they sit in the windows. But would you like to know how much I paid for... What was it, it was 20 sets of chairs? Yeah, something like 10 or 20, or 15 sets of chairs or whatever it was. It was $12. Yeah. And it was from um, a, um, it's like a that? clinic or a something. A health department. It was yeah. a health department waiting room. So they were they were going to be doing out their chairs. Now I can buy re replacement seats for those bases. Oh, don't forget, half of the chairs that you see, this is not all we bought. We bought mm -hmm. a bunch more, and our neighbor owns a business, or yeah, did own a business, yeah, an ice cream shop. Yeah, an ice cream shop, and we were like, hey, you need chairs? And he was like, uh, yeah, kind of. And we just gave them to him. Yep. We, I mean, it was that throw them, him, pump he, them in the dump. And he actually painted his chairs. That's a plastic. And he painted them with a, with a plastic spray paint. And he said, one color came out really well and it didn't, mm -hmm. and it didn't wear off. But he said red wore off on people yeah. when they sat in it. So, but um, yeah, he repainted them and they looked really great. Mm -hmm. And they're still being used actually. The, the, the new owner bought it and still uses the chairs. So, govdeals.com. I'm there on there all the time. I buy lots of other stuff too. I buy printers off of there um, for our other business. Um, what else? We've bought lots, lots of things. We've bought lots of things. I think we even bought a set of uh, one or two washers. We did. Yes. It came out of a. It was not a. Not a um, what was it? It was um, like out of a college. Yes. Because that's technically it was yes. a state college up in Maryland. Yeah. Up in Maryland. Yeah, it was up in Maryland, and it was mm -hmm. since it's run by the state, there yep. they go on gov deals and. We did buy. I'm sorry. You know, we did buy. We did buy. We bought a washer. We bought a Speed Queen 20 pound um, front loader, and we mm -hmm. bought a dryer. We bought a Speed Queen dryer that actually all the parts matched all of yeah. our dryers. So we bought the both of them for a hundred dollars. We ended up selling the washer to another local laundromat he wanted to buy it and i took all of the parts out of the dryer for our dryers we yeah. ended up using all of them um and then we scrapped it and made made money yeah ultimately another 15 bucks yeah we, it, it, we broke even on the yeah. deal money wise but no it was more than we, yeah, we, we made money yeah we definitely Plus, made money. but it saved us in having and to buy parts, parts yeah that certainly helped. so that's but i'm always checking on ebay always and that's what we got our other um our last, okay, the the 20 pound front loaders, the wasp mats, the W74s, those we bought off of eBay from that guy in Ohio. The other two uh, 35 pounders that we bought, the one we just replaced and the one that's sitting in storage, uh, we bought those from a guy in North Carolina. So, from his laundromat. Um, let's see, so I hope that answers your question, Steve. So I want to 
um, Web City Films, I, I, I saw what you wrote about you wanting to make a video um, and you said you didn't like the sound of your voice and let me, let me tell you, our YouTube channel almost didn't happen because Greg... I hate the sound of my voice. I, you know, I think like everyone else, you see guys in the movies and you think you sound like that, then you hear yourself on a recording or on video and you hear what you really sound like. I just can't stand that. But she, Tammy, believed in me and was like, I love the sound of your voice. I was like, okay. And, and you know. And after the first, it took a couple videos. It still takes some getting used to. You're never going to, yeah. you're, you're not a professional actor. You're never going to 100%. And it's not about acting. Yeah, it's not about, about being an actor. It's not you, about that. It's not about that. You know what it is, is Web City Films, if you have knowledge or you want to share some information, mm -hmm. That's all that people want. That's what they care yeah. about. They want to know what you know, and they want to know if they can do it too. So, you know what? Go make that video. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah, what yeah. your voice sounds like. They ju people just want to know what you know, and they want to learn from you. That's all. Yeah. So I, I hope you take that and, and do it because it's probably a video that lots of people are interested. I mean, after you told me about this thing for the humidity, which actually it's really hot in here right now because our, our AC is broken and Greg's got to go change out the fuses in the more, later on. But, you know, I, I, would, I would be interested in watching the video. So think about it and, you know, maybe make that video. Um, Tim Northrup, um, you would put on there that you're, you're, you're running your vending company to save up to purchase uh, for the down payment for a laundromat. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really, yeah. that is awesome. Um, and I know that you're looking forward to the videos and I promised everybody that this weekend we were going to have the video about um, some some tips about what to look for negotiating and buying a laundromat. Um, I'm going to be real honest with you. When we sat down to start doing this, we we discovered that each thing, each topic we had had all like these little sub yeah. things that, that were important enough to talk about. And we're actually thinking it could end up being like almost an hour long video. So, and with everything else that's going on and us trying to figure out what it is we're going to do mm -hmm. with all of that's all going on, I'm going to have to push this video back just a little bit. Um, so if you could all be patient, I would really appreciate it. And I'm really sorry because I do, I do try to keep my promises and I hate it when I can't. So, but if you could just be a little more patient. Uh, let's see, Frank Nichols. Shout outs. Oh, shoutouts. Well, we're going to do these shoutouts first. Okay. Uh, shoutouts. Uh, I got some new subscribers. And let's see, Sh uh, Frank, Frank Nichols, welcome to the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for watching. Um, Matthew. Matthew Brown. Uh, I don't know if we can get Glenn 20 around here, but um, I think we might be able to find, I'm going to look for something very similar to it. Um, but thanks for the info because, you know, I really haven't looked at the spray um, disinfectant because I had picked up a can of Lysol at home and it said that it didn't kill the a virus. It, and I was like, what? So I don't know. Yeah. So I kind of gave up on that. Right now we're actually having a little problem finding, uh, I know we can't get hand sanitizer, we can't get wipes. I'm, I'm almost out of my antibacterial foaming soap. I actually just refill my own, um, and that's actually I'm going to make a video on how to refill uh, these containers. Yeah. It's it's so much cheaper, but we can't even find the refills that we usually get at BJ's or Sam's. So we are actually on the hunt for any kind of antibacterial soap that we can refill into our dispenser. Squeeze it in ourselves. Yeah, something. <laughs> uh, Ed, also thanks for the link to the fogger. Uh, we thought that was pretty interesting. Where you could just let this thing loose and let it disinfect, <laughs> yeah. let it disinfect your, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna look into that. I, but I appreciate the link. I really do. Uh, Richard uh, Grimmer, welcome. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you're here. So we're gonna give out two shoutouts tonight. Oh wait, wait, before we do that, I want to show everybody something. So if you want a laundromat, you need to get these. Okay. I get these every month. This is the American, and I'm sorry, I spilled coffee on it the other day. Uh, this is the American Coin, American Coin Op magazine that comes. They always have some great articles. Also has lots of distributors um, who have chairs, bulkheads, 
um, equipment, boxes, great information if you're looking for distributors or also there's, um, oh, this is all stuck together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, our, ca our camera just shut off. Our camera just shut off and I have no idea where it shut off at. So, again, I think we're going to just probably, again, go to, the, go to uh, planetlaundry.com, go to their forums and search through their forms. It's the place to start. Yeah. We still go there. Um, I will probably always still go there because I don't believe that um, I will know it all by the, even by the time we return. Yeah, you're never going to know everything about a subject. Yeah. So, so it's always, always learn. Always learn. Okay, so we're gonna do two shout outs tonight and it's a little different. I'm giving two shout outs to two other YouTube channels. Um, and I do watch them because again, I watch Following Keenan, I do watch Investment Joy, and I have discovered uh, there I fixed it. Um, I believe his name is Jacob and his wife Christy. Um, and he grew up from what I believe from, from the way I understood it. He grew up, his parents owned laundromat, so he has one now. And he's really good at fixing stuff. He just switched out all of his lights to LEDs, and I have asked him to make a video on a rebuild for a top loader, because it's something that we don't know how to do, and I'd really like to see that yeah. video. Um, so um, if you get a chance, go on over to There I Fixed It, um, and just let him know he's doing a good job. I, I you know. I don't know how old his laundromat is. I, th I think it's pretty new. Um, but or it looks new. It looks really it, good. It, it looks really good. So. It might be really old. We yeah, don't know. Yeah. So <laughs> go on over there. And I just watched his video tonight. I thought it was so cute because uh, his wife, Christy, is like, I guess, really shy. And um, But they want to start a cruising, vlog, a cruising vlog, which I thought was awesome because we love to cruise. And um, I'd like to watch that. But I don't think anybody's going to be going on any cruises anytime soon. Yeah, that's... So the other one I'm going to give a shout out to is Darcy's Picks. And the reason being is that he's a Canadian. So it's kind of neat. And here's what I like about his, his um, he's got a smaller laundromat. But what I like about his videos is, is his girlfriend. She shows up with a different box every time. <laughs> I think it's awesome that there's every week she shows up with something different. I, I think it's adorable. Um, and I like seeing his coins because they use the the do their dollar coin, um, which I, I think it looks pretty cool when they when they empty the boxes. Mm -hmm. So um, so those are the two channels I want to give uh, shout outs to because they're, they're they're starting out. They need some they need subscribers. They've got good content. Um, I wouldn't send you over there if I didn't think so. Um, you know, so if you get a chance, head over and yeah. uh, just take a peek. Uh, so it's there I fixed it in Darcy's picks. I think it's it's either Darcy picks or Darcy's picks. I'm not sure. I'm, what I'll, I'll put a link down below because I'm not sure if, if there's an S in there or not. So that's it for today. Um, and again, I'm I'm, um, I'm sorry that it's just I feel if this video is probably gonna feel a little rushed. It's just we've got a lot on our plate right now, I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. And I really would like some feedback as to what y'all think about us staying open. 24 hours to maybe kind of spread out some of our customer base where we're only allowed to have, you know, 10 people at a time in here. So we'd really like to know what you think. Mm -hmm. So have an amazing week. And remember, learn from the mistakes of others. You won't live long enough to make them all yourself. Bye. Bye.